Hello everyone. If you feel your living room is too compact to plan it properly and make it aesthetically beautiful, then you are wrong. Because in this video, I'm going to give you simple tips to change the way your living room looks. Hello friends, this is interior designer Rojasi Dev from DSIFG, a place to be where you will be updated about anything and everything happening in the world of interiors. So let's get started with today's video. Tip number one, take measurements of the room. It is an absolute essential step that has to be taken even before you start thinking about new spaces. If you are doing your house with the help of a professional, then make sure that you get the measurement layout of your house with the grid lines on. If you are on your own, then buy a grid one. Tip number two, carry a grid plan. While shopping, when you visit any shop to buy furniture or if you want to buy furniture online, Make sure that the measurement plan is always handy so that you can mark out the furniture on the grid plan and get a sense of free space that you would be getting after placing the furniture. Tip number 3. Mark furniture on the floor with a tape. What you could also do is get the details of all the furniture and peacefully tape it down on the flooring. What I'm talking about is to get any color tape and taping the furniture outline on the floor. It is very important and practical step to get clarity of this free space after placing the furniture. Step 4. Buy furniture to scale to your living room. Make sure you don't skip this one. You would rather regret if you skip this one. Whenever you go out to buy any furniture like sitting or sofa or for your residence, then make sure that you are not buying something which is too bulky. We want furniture which is light or which looks light visually. The sitting is not the place where I am telling you to compromise. It is to be really comfortable but the armrest and the bedrest is somewhere you can save space. Tip number 5. Keep your furniture off the floor. You can buy a sofa or a sitting that is not completely touching the ground. So a suggestion would be to have a sofa which has a minimum ground clearance of 4 inches to 6 inches. If you choose a furniture place like that, what happens is you see the flooring continues. Now, this is very simple tip which has a huge impact. For any other furniture in the living room, like a bookshelf or a TV unit, make sure that it is off the floor so you are not wasting your floor space in any of the furniture and your room looks much more spacious than it is in reality. To know more about interior designing, subscribe to the channel so that you'll get all the notifications regarding the videos. Thank you.